Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be jumping in and doing some fishing. Also, some awesome building. I hope you guys are ready. So today, I'd kind of like to get started on uh, kind of getting a roof over a lot of these uh, a lot of these sections up in the top. So if we take a look at the top of, uh, of, of the building here, you can see that we have a lot of room for improvement, a lot of room to actually make um, some sort of roof. We do have to keep in mind that we do have these pillars here, and each one of these pillars are going to be their own little thing going on. But we should be able to easily like make ladders, get ourselves a way to get up top here, um, and work on this a little bit better. And um, I mean, all of this should be pretty well um, symmetrical for the most part. We do have nine uh, blocks in between these sections here. So this is a nine block section. And uh, what I think we'll do is even uh, sections like this, they'll just have their own peaks. Um, these will just have their own, own roof peaks. Um, same with uh, much of the other sides. Now this will have a pretty chapel-ish uh, style roof, um, pretty medieval style roof where it just goes kind of at a uh, like a, a triangle, but it's it's kind of slanted towards the middle. Um, and we're going to try and get that done today. We're going to try and, and work on that. I think that shouldn't be too hard. Um, you don't need flight or anything for stuff like this. Um, you should be able to do most of this without flight. So let's take a look at ladders. Now, ladders, they're going to they're gonna cost you a little bit. They require the wood planks here um, to be chopped down. So we're going to have to do a lot of wood chopping. So I'm going to go ahead and get much of this done. I think we can get uh, turn all of these into that and make ourselves a bunch of ladders. And uh, then we also need to figure out what material we're going to make the uh, roof out of. I think I'm going to go with um, stone bricks. We do have a bit of stone here to add even more. So what we'll do is we'll use stone bricks for the outside. And I think we're going to go with dark wood for the main part of the roof. This will add a lot of contrast to everything else that's going on. And the roof is going to be very dark looking. And I think that's going to work very well with what we're uh, what we're coming up with. So uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to get this all chopped down. I'm also going to get this turned into uh, its wood variant as well. And I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, so we're going to go ahead and craft a few more ladders here. And that should work. I'll just throw these, kind of split them, and then balance the grid. That'll give us 21 ladders. I think that's going to be plenty for the amount of work that we need to do today. And uh, we also have a bit of stone brick that's going to get our outline. And then we have um, some of these. And I think some of the main things that we're going to want. We're going to want a few slabs. Just a few. The majority of it's going to be built with actual logs themselves, or uh, uh, the planks themselves. So we shouldn't have to worry about that too much. So I hope this ends up looking pretty good. I really do. Um, I have a lot of a lot of ideas, and this is one of them. So let's go ahead and put a ladder here so we can get up right to the top. Perfect. Now, this is going to be its own peak, and uh, the peak's actually going to start right here. So I can kind of go over how this is actually going to look. If we take our wood, uh, the wood is actually going to be off the side. So... It should start like right here. So technically this will be here. And then this is just going to uh, to pillar up. So it's gonna be that's gonna be the start. So it'll be two here, and we'll go I'll go up three. And then we're going to expand up and go up four. That should be four, right? I think that's four. <laughs> this is where having ladders come in handy, but I think that's four. One, two, three, four, yes. And then two. So one, two. One, two. And now we are setting at the center. So I need to work my way back down. And that's kind of the pattern that I think I'm, I'm going to go with, even for the whole rest of the build. Um, it's sort of barn style. Very, very similar to that. But that's what we need to go. So three up on this front part. Uh, front part. And then we'll go uh, three up again. That's the way it looks. But I mean, we have four blocks here. Um, that's just kind of how I'm how I'm saying it. So we'll do one, two, three. Then on this side, one, two, three. Then again, one, two. Then one, two, like that. And then of course we'll have the center part there. Perfect. So this is going to be the color that we're going to go with. 
And then uh, you also do the same thing with this. So we just repeat. Um, except for we don't have to fill in this block. Um, I think we're going to end up removing those later. So you can just place it along the side. And I shouldn't have done that because that's going to make it hard for me to get there. There we go. Perfect. And uh, that's just, that looks pretty decent to me. And that's going to be a good start. And in the bottom, we can adjust the bottom to however we, you know, fill is necessary. Like the, the, the bottom here, I think, is going to go down a couple. But we can do that from the bottom. Um, but for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and come back over here. And we're going to complete this on uh, this side. Making sure that I don't do too much of that. That's me breaking this. Oh, fun. But there we go. Yeah. There we go. So I'll make sure to actually step up this time before placing the block. There we go. And then all we have to do is extend all of the wood all the way across. Much like that. Now, we do have something that will help us with this. Um, we have builders, builder wands. Um, now, we can only make the iron one. So just keep that in mind that the iron one is the only one that we can make. And it shouldn't be too difficult for us. Let's go up here. I think that's right. Yeah. Iron one. I'm going to make two of them because I know we're going to run out the more I start doing this. And uh, we also have... Oh, I also wanted to get some other things going like tallow. Um, let's start making some uh, special tallow. We're going to need some pork chops. So let's take a look at this. If you cook this in a cauldron, you can make tallow. And tallow can be used to make blasting oil. And blasting oil is used to make dynamite. Um, and explosive fuses we can get with gunpowder. But that stuff's going to be really handy for fishing. Instead of us fishing, I think I want to try and use dynamite. I know a lot of people may be against that. But I think it's going to be very fun um, to use the dynamite. And plus, you can get a lot of fish that way. So... Uh, it's very handy in that regard. Um, yeah, this may... The diamond one would be the best. Mmm. So, we may have to find a creeper. I, I, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find a creeper because, honestly, the, the this one is good for, like, uh, long sections. Because this is not going to connect. Yeah. That's just not gonna cut it. It is just... Yeah, that's... That's not what I want. That's the same as placing normal blocks. We're going to need a diamond one for sure. All right. I know it is really dark for you guys, but we're going to shear this creeper. Thank you, creeper. And where one creeper is at, there's bound to be more, right? Yes. Oh, and we have, by the way, karate ninjas have, or karate zombies have been added back. There we go. That's another one. Um, we also need to kill these guys as well. So that way... Oh man, that he's a yellow belt. I do want their gunpowder. Man, he's a... He's a heavy hitter there. Oh, we got another one. By the way, you don't want to let these guys get you, because they can... Ooh, he's a green belt. They can get you, man. Pretty good. As you can see, they have a lot of health. A lot of armor. I want to make sure I pick up all the gunpowder. Okay. So we have that done. Oh, can I kill the Enderman? I would like to get an ender pearl. Oh no, oh no. Yep, that happened. Oh no. Well guys, for the death, I don't think that was quite bad. But look, we have two endermen here. If I could honestly get away from these zombies, I did go ahead and sleep. And just go ahead and get my stuff. Oh man, that's rough. Alright, did, did, uh... Where'd the Endermen go? There what they went. They don't really like to be active during the day. And that kind of worries me. Get out of here. Get out of here with that. But look, this is how this is going to look. Um, I think I'm going to go down one on the, the corners on the sides there. But that, that looks pretty good, right? I think that's going to look really good. Man, I wish we would have... Do, do we get... At least we got gunpowder, we got a creeper oyster. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn this into a diamond... Ingot. I think that's going to be the best thing for us. We also got an ore bag. Which gave us nether quartz ore. <laughs> nether quartz ore. Perfect. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some of this stuff packed away for us. Um, and then, we, like I said, I want to turn this 
in the normal cauldron, I think it is. Uh, no, it's stoked cauldron. Will give us tallow. So a stoked cauldron. Let's turn this on. And we will just throw that in there. And let that turn into tallow. Um, that's what that is for. And then uh, we'll just pocket the rest of the stuff. And guys, I think we're doing pretty good. Let's go ahead and get our food stacked away. I'm going to need iron. I'm going to need the creeper oysters. And I'm going to need two diamonds. Right? Alright, so we're going to take all of this. And this should be done in the stoked. Which we already have it stoked right now. We just need to throw it in there. And let's get ourselves a diamond ingot. And that should totally work. And there we go. So, we just have to let this do its thing. It's going to give us diamond uh, ingots. And we're going to use that to make a better wand. Because right now the wand for iron is just not that great. It really isn't. It's not that great. And we'll throw these in the tools. I thought they were going to be a little bit better on us. But of course it's not. <laughs> you always hope for something. And uh, then when, when you don't get it, you're like, oh man, kind of disappointment. Alright, we can throw their blocks back on us. Now that we have everything sorted out. All right, and we're back in back in order. Back back and ready to go. I'll take two of those sticks because we are going to need, like I said, to make that diamond once it's done. There it is. And after we've done this, let's go ahead and craft this up. Oh, man, a diamond wand. There we go. All that work for just a diamond wand. Just so we could build a little bit easier. Awesome. So, let's take this, because this should work a lot better, right? I think. Yes. This should be like a hundred times better. This should actually work. Oh, there we go. Yeah. That's what I want to happen. Perfect. So, that's done. Um, we're not going to have a floor up here. This is just literally going to be a roof at this point. All roof here. So, how do we want to do this? This is going to be a pretty big roof if we just keep it one size. Um, and we can have this roof going in this direction. But that would kind of mess up what we have going on over here. So, let's see. Main roof here. We do have this section. But I think we'll cover this section with its own, own pieces. And if we did this multiple uh, heights, it would be even better, but unfortunately we don't probably have the resources yet for quite an endeavor. Um, but what we can do, we can get rid of what's going on here. Let's move this, move that. We can throw that away. And get rid of all this stuff. And then we'll work on the roof even more, so we'll, we'll get a little bit further going on here. And we'll... Uh, Get this going. Okay, so if we follow the same sort of pattern that we had here and just go a little bit bigger, we'll see that uh, we can have the roof. I think it started on here. So one, two, three, four. We'll do four on this side. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And we're getting close to the center. I think this is the center. One. Right. Just like that. I'm pretty sure this is the center. <laughs> um, let's just check. It's really hard for me to see. I think, I think this is the center point. Right here. Very close. Anyways. Alright, we are going to take some damage, but that's okay. Like I said, we'll, we'll figure it out as we go. And see how this looks from a distance, and see if that's what we really want to go with. I think that looks really good. Okay, so, four. Uh, four. Three. Three. Two. Okay, we'll remember that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Uh-oh, we messed something up. We messed something up. <laughs> I don't know what we messed up, but we messed something up. And I think maybe because the bottom section was five. 
That section was five. That looks so goofy, does it? Does it not? <laughs> Since we messed it up. Uh, yeah, that side needs to go up a little bit higher. That's okay. That is perfectly fine. We will fix it. And it is this side, I do believe. Luckily, planks are very easy to break here. There we go. It just needed to go up one more. Like that. Correct. Yeah, this is a little bit higher. Everything's everything's a little bit a little bit higher than we originally had it. Okay. So this is where the middle sort of meets. And we need to figure this out. Okay. Perfect. And we'll have that meet just like that. Awesome. Um, is everything exactly how it should be? I think so. What I'm going to do is actually peek this up a little bit higher. Then do that. Okay, so that'll give it a little bit more of an arch there. I will take you. Thank you. Take all my stairs back, or ladders back. All right. So now we can get a good view of this from a distance. How's that look? It looks very archy, very chapelish, um, which is what I was going with. And it's going to be taller than this, so it's going to blend in very nicely once we get it going. And uh, we'll have to do the same thing to this side, but we'll actually pull the whole structure over here. I think I have, I mean, I have a lot of blocks, but I don't think I have enough of this wood for all of it. Yeah, no, that's as far as it goes. That's as far as I have enough wood for, guys. But like I said, we're going to get more and more of this as we go. And since the, the you know, you can now um, take your axe and actually mine these trees, I'm going to clear out this whole forest, guys. And, uh, yeah, we're going to definitely clear this whole forest out of these trees. Because if you need to build, that's what this is for. And, uh, yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> until, until your axe, your stuff runs out. So, things are going to look pretty good. And then we're going to blend in um, what the towers are going to look like. And I think that'll look pretty good. But let's go ahead and we'll jump back into some more progression stuff. I know you guys are, guys like to see a little bit of the build and a little bit of progression stuff. So, that's what I'm doing, mixing things up. And uh, at this point, we are pretty close to the progressions uh, that we need. But, I mean, we still have a little bit more grinding stuff to do. Um, such as uh, we need to up our armor, up our Annie. We need to go more creeper hunting. I think uh, doing creeper hunting is not going to be a big deal as long as we wait till nighttime and actually go after creepers only and avoid everything else. Um, having some better armor and getting some potions ready is also going to be something that we're going to work on here soon. So let's jump into that. All right, so our weapon game is kind of not the best. It can get a little bit better. So let's go ahead and work on upping our, our weapons at least a little bit better than what we currently have. So um, right now we have just an iron sword. Let's upgrade a regular iron, so iron sword and we'll get into dungeon tactics. So we're gonna need a diamond and we'll just throw this in here. That'll make it a gilded sword, um, which is, I think it's close to the same, but if we add a diamond to this, we get a jeweled sword, and now this sword does uh, it does almost a whole other heart of dam or another half heart of damage. So this is pushing it on the uh, the damage bar. Um, it says once you get up to diamond, it is uh, at almost at this point. I mean, it looks the same as you see here. Um, so this may be actually similar to the diamond sword, like very similar. But of course, as you go up here, things, I mean, it says even right here, the refined sword is seven. I think they're, a, they're it's a little bit, that's a little bit misleading in terms of uh, what it actually does. Um, but anyways, a vile sword would also be nice to get eventually uh, because that's a to totally different mod um, set for making mob spawners. So that might be something we also might want to get into as well. We're also going to need 
to keep some glass bottles on us because as we start killing those ninja zombies, um, they do spit out those little red particle things and you need to have glass bottles on you. And I just haven't done that because I haven't really had the time to go over and explain what those zombies really do. Um, but they're definitely worth checking out um, and, and getting into that mod. It's, it's the Japanese culture mod that comes from um, better with add-ons. Or, uh, yeah, better with add-ons. Um, it adds all these different trees uh, with the, the saplings. It adds all these different dying kits and the tables. And you can see you need these bottles of Japanese ancestry. And that's how you get them, is by killing those zombies. So, pretty interesting. And uh, we're going to jump back into a few more things. Like I said, I really wanted to make some more of that TNT, but I also wanted to kind of go fishing as well. So, we might actually just, you know, just do some normal fishing for once. Here's the fishing rod. And I don't think this is a baited fishing rod. So what we're going to need to do is take this, combine it with the fishing rod. Oh, maybe this already is baited. Huh. I guess it's already baited? Anyways, let's go fishing with it and see what we can actually get. Fishing fishing is one of those things, um, you know, that, that a lot of people just don't do. But in this pack, you can get some really nice potions and stuff like that from doing such. Sometimes I wish those, you know, those, some, those, they're not really reliable. But we're going to go over here by our bridge. And we're going to fish near this. I think that's going to be a good place to go fishing. And let's see what we can actually get. So, yeah, fish should show up and it should drag our, our thing down. As always. But, uh, we should have a chance of getting some really cool looking fish. All right, where's that? Where are they at? Oh, there we go. Oh, we got a puffer fish that time. And now we can add enchantments to this. That's something we're going to have to work on as well. Um, enchants are going to be our best friend in this pack. And you can actually make enchants with an anvil. Um, so once you get enough iron to make an anvil, things are going to be a lot easier for you. Um, so let's go ahead. Uh, I'm hoping to get this. I mean, this is a very uh, nice way. But as I've shown before, as a reward from for this quest line... You actually can make an even better method of, of fishing. And as you see, we got fire resistance from that. So yeah, early game fire resistance. All it takes is you doing some little bit, just doing a little bit of fishing. Wow, look how good that's looking from a distance, man. It's looking real good from a distance. Oh yeah, this is going to be great looking once we get this built. I plan on having some other buildings as well. Uh, making this whole path as we lead over to this section. Yeah, I got a lot planned. So now that we're back and things are looking pretty good, let's go ahead and grab just... I'm going to grab a couple of the gunpowder. Uh, I really need to go creeper hunting. And that's going to be something that I'll have to do eventually. Um, just, you know, just because. Uh, <laughs> we need more gunpowder. A lot of stuff that's really cool in this pack uses gunpowder as a fuel. Um, so that's going to be something that we're going to need. But let's go ahead and grab also some hemp. And we're going to use this to make a fuse. So if you add this inside here, inside the cauldron, under normal temperatures, we actually get a fuse. And that's going to be needed. That is going to be something that we're going to need. Um, I think it only makes one, yeah, one fuse per set. So this is going to get us two dynamite, which is going to be great. Now we also need to make blasting oil. That's going to require a cauldron as well with hellfire and tallow. That one's not so difficult, right? Because we actually get two for that set. So, before we ended up making the tallow, so let's go ahead and grab our tallow. We only need one. And then we're also gonna need Hellfire Dust, which we can use this, we can get eight of those. And while we're at it, we can also grab a unfired uh, urn. We'll go ahead and fire this one so we don't really waste our time. And what you can do is actually stand right here. Uh, as long as this is done. I want this to actually finish its process because the kiln, that thing will not go until it's ready. Okay, there's our explosive fuse. I'll do this afterwards. Let's go ahead and, and get that going. There we go. And that'll work. I think this will work if it's stoked. I don't know if it's faster or anything. There's a very good chance that it could cause an explosion, which I don't want to do from it overheating. And yeah, that would kind of be a bad thing. 
We don't want to. <laughs> we don't want bad stuff happening to this. So this should be almost done. There it goes. It just popped off. We could turn this off now, and we'll go ahead and throw this. Actually, that needs to be out of there. This and this back in here. There we go. And we'll go over here, place down our urn, and we'll just throw that in there. And there we go. Now we also have our Hellfire Dust, and we also have another Soul Urn. So you can't beat that. Might as well use that Soul Urn. So let's grab one of these and one of these, and bam, that'll end up making the blasting oil that we're gonna need. Right? Two of them. So we're gonna end up making two uh, dynamite just for this go around. We will make more. We do have sawdust and stuff, so that's not gonna be hard either. I did want to kind of show you guys. Um, I guess I can do that here. I will take three of these, and we'll also take three gold nuggets. There's three gold nuggets. And what you can do with this is you can grind down the gold nuggets with health, concentrated hellfire. And oh yeah, let's go ahead and do this. It's going to make, as it grinds up, glowstone. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> or not glowstone, sorry, redstone. It's going to make redstone. Um, or redstone dust. And that's going to be very useful because we're getting low on redstone dust. So that's something else that we also needed to go, go ahead and, and get going. All right, let's see how this process is going. There's our wire. This is almost done. Almost done. Let's go ahead and grab our, our uh, soul dust. I know we have soul dust laying around all over the place. And then we're going to need paper. Paper should be pretty easy as well. We have sugar cane. And there we go, six of those will get us enough paper for all of this. And let's see if this is already done, it should be. And there we go, there's our blasting oil. Nice, so we are about to make dynamite, guys. Two dynamite, oh yeah, we're gonna go fishing. And we should have redstone, there we go. You should get seven redstone, I do believe, out of that, out of that process. So, seven redstone, that's not bad, it's not a bad thing. I mean, it only takes a little bit. It does take uh, it does take a little bit of of you know, a little bit of stuff for the concentrated hellfire, but really, like I said, it's just another rack. It's just another rack. You have to go to the Nether. That's about it. All right, well, let's go blow some fish out of the water, guys. Ow, that was a little bit more powerful. All right, we're gonna blow. Actually, we can go over here. Let's blow some fish out of the water here. This is actually this would be a good place to make a fishing dock. This would be a great place. Now that I look at it, this would be a awesome place for a fishing dock. Let's go ahead and throw this down there, though. That should blow up. Right? Uh, dwarven fishing pole? Right? Should blow up? <laughs> I don't know. What happened to this guy? What happened to him? What happened? Does it maybe need to... Something... It's making a weird noise. Very weird noise. Do I need flint and steel? Uh oh, I feel like something's wrong. I feel like, I feel like we, we used this before. And it worked out just fine. Maybe we have to have flint and steel in our inventory? I, I don't know. We'll, we'll try it. But... I feel like we've we used this before in a previous episode, and it worked just fine. I hope this stuff works, because that's, I just wasted all this time if it didn't work. Oh, come on. Let's go ahead. Let's get, let's get flint and steel. This, got, this has to work. Maybe it was only flint and steel that we needed, because when you, you normally when you throw this underwater, it works just fine. Man, this grass really needs to go. Really needs to go. Let's see, does it work in this time? Yes, you have to have flint and steel in your inventory. Makes sense. Look at all those fish. Oh yeah, there's some fish. As you say, they float to the top because of the buoyancy. Buoyancy mod. Oh man, the ones that don't go to the top are the enchanted ones. Just because they're not listed in the buoyancy. They should, I think I might add them to the buoyancy list. 
Oh man, that's so good. Look at all the fish we just got from that. I think that was well worth the work. I must say, that was well worth the time investment that we made. Because look at all these enchanted fish also that are laying on the ground. I want to go down and check real quick just to make sure that I grabbed all the enchanted fish. I think I did. I think I did. Man, the caustics that are under the water are so nice looking with this with this shader pack. Oh man, water caustics, man, they're, that's such a good effect. Really makes it look like real life. So what do we get? Alright, so we got lava fish, fire resistance, we got uh, some jump boost. We got some lungfish, so water breathing. Um, and like I said, if you if you cook these, it doubles the time. So we got speed boost here. Um, like I said, these are some early game early game fishing things that you can actually just catch all of these fish. You don't have you can just use a regular fishing pole, uh, pole and catch fish this way. But using that, I mean, fifteen fish. Oh yeah, we got some food for a little bit. And also, uh, fish fish can be used for um, other purposes as well, like making uh, even nicer equipment. And I'm. I thought it was actually used for, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I think it was used in some of these recipes, maybe a fish or something like that. I don't remember. I think puffer fish are used in enchanting recipes. They're just not showing up in the list. But, guys, yeah, I'm hungry. I know, I'm hungry. Let's go ahead. We'll go ahead and dump off our fish. I'll take the enchanted ones. Those are going to go in a special chest. But guys, we got all the fish. Look at all this food that we're slowly but surely building up. Um, and we'll throw these in the Dungeon Tactics, because this is a Dungeon Tactics mod that they, that they these fish do come from that mod. And we'll go ahead and throw these in here. Now, what we could do, I think we can set up a hopper. I think a hopper will work. And that way we can just have uh, items automatically going into this thing. Will it work? Oh, no, no, no. N that's not, that's not what I wanted. It drained out all my books. Oh, what a hopper. What a hopper, man. All right, well. We'll see what else we can po possibly do. Will that work? Can we put fish and, and such in here? No, it doesn't. I think you have to have the upgrade in this thing to enable that. So we'll get that. It's probably, it also can possibly go from the top, I do believe. Let's also try from the top because that's how they normally work. Okay, it does go from the top and I'm assuming that it'll also pull out from the bottom. Um, and if that's the case, we can automate this thing. Um, there are upgrades that allow us to remove the hoppers. So, for right now, we'll just use hoppers. And we can also use hopper ducks if we have those. Yeah, we totally can use a hopper duck. Might as well try it. I think we can have it split over here. So I went ahead and slept. Now, I was thinking of possibly setting up the automation fully for the pull this into the furnace. If we were to put things in there. Um, but what I'd need to do is move the pulvis over here. So let's go ahead and do that. And of course we can go ahead and move this. I do have a bunch more axes, so let's go ahead and take that. We can just move that over. Have a have a central crafting station now. Now the problem is is the hoppers will pull all of the potions out of here. Um, and same with the, the bookshelf. Um, so we're gonna move these. Uh, this requires, yeah, an, an actual axe. Um, and we're going to move these just right here. Right here. And I'll put all the books back in as intended. There we go. All the books are back in. This, on the other hand, is going to be a little bit harder. Because we have all these tons of potions, man. Tons of potions. And then this thing is going to pop off. And there we go. All right, so I got most of this done. And I think at this point, we can now work on actually making hopper ducks. I think I want to get be able to get this get this sort of worked out. Uh, let's go ahead and see. I do need to move the crafting table. That was kind of an issue, which is perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and... I, I don't know if this will work with this wood. I think it's or dictionary to any type of wood. We'll get eight of them. I think that's going to be just enough. 
By the way, we can go ahead and get those cooking. We'll throw these out away. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up a hopper here, just for our input items. Hopper there. Um, now, at the bottom, we're gonna need a hopper again. So we're gonna need a bit of iron. This is this is a very iron-heavy project, but I mean, I think it's worth getting it done. Now, on the bottom, we're gonna have hopper ducts that come up out of the bottom. Um, so here, let's go ahead and move this out. And what we can do is put a block here and add that hopper to the side there. Now, well, the way hopper ducts work is they're kind of like pipes. So if you hook this there, well, we can actually hook this and should be able to hook this into um, the actual top of this if we wanted to. Like, this should be able to go to the top, I think. Right? Am I doing that wrong? And that's supposed to connect to the top? Oh wait, I think you have to- oh wait, that's right. You have to go from the the side you want it to connect to, I do believe. Hold on. Let's try this. There we go. Then connect here. Then connect, and then it'll go into the hopper there. So now this hopper should send stuff into this hopper. That's how it should, should work, I do believe. Um, and then, of course, we can add stuff here and then add it here. And this will, as long as anything goes in the pulvis, it'll come back through and uh, get added into this hopper. Now, if this hopper can't feed anything in here, then it's going to be useless. So that's where we're going to need another hopper. I know, just a few more pieces of iron. And we're going to make another hopper. And th this hopper is going to be the one that's going to output to a chest. Um, and we don't have another chest on us, so let's go ahead and make another chest. Another normal, you know, no your normal everyday chest, right? So let's just make a chest. Um, and I think I need to go to this wood, yes. Alright, so let's go ahead and try this. We'll come back down here. Make sure you place the chest that you want it to go to. And we're going to try and squeeze in here. I think this block is blocking us. How funny. The block is blocking us. And I'm just going to inch. There we go. And guys, it's done. It's done. We'll just close that up. I know it's, this is part's kind of ugly. But let's go ahead and test it. We do have gold. So let's test the gold. We'll throw the gold in here. As long as there, there's some, kind of, some sort of coal in here, this will work. And we should see everything wrap around. And this is just a little project. You know, just something to, to do. Because we do have hopper ducks in this pack. So it does make life a little easier. And as you can see, yep, it went over as intended. Each one of these has a single slot. And it went over into the chest. And guys, we're good to go. With that all working and getting quite a bit done today, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode as we did a few things, you know, a couple shenanigans and things like that. You know, blowing some fish out of the water. That's always fun. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, you know what to do. Don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a thumbs up, guys. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching. Let's go.